Greetings and salutations my movie loving friends. My name is Gilbert Yabara and welcome back to the Attic Review. On today's episode of TAR, I want to talk about prequels gone wrong with The First Omen. The Omen, released in 1976, is a horror classic about the Antichrist being adopted and groomed to take over the world. <laughs> Not sure who was demanding to see this, but the first omen takes us way back to forcibly show us what had to happen in order for Damien to be born. Are you there, God? Cause it's her Margaret, and Margaret has spent her whole life under the church's care, and now has been magically invited to join an orphanage in Rome to take her final vows. As per usual, she meets shady people everywhere in the convent, especially the clergy, and this weird little girl they keep locked up in the bad room. To burn off this nervous energy, she goes out on the town with her wild child roommate, and what do you know, she has too good of a time and passes out. That can't be good. The next day, still hurting from the night before, she accidentally witnesses what looks like the lost footage from Rosemary's baby and yeah, what a scene. That freak show causes the mysterious father Brennan to show up to shed some light on the situation to Margaret in that cool ass voice he has. As expected, she's in grave danger. Stay away from certain people. The same stuff that we've seen in the other 40 movies just like this. So let's speed this up, shall we? Margaret is one of many selected to be the baby mama of Satan. And where others have failed, it looks like this one is going to be a keeper. Let's just say the church gets the baby, but Margaret slips away with some baggage and after years of isolation, she gets a visitor. Father Brandon, in that cool ass voice of his, warns her that she's still in grave danger and that her son has a name now and it is <gasps> Damien. Damien, if you couldn't hear me. So I swear, I just watched all of this in Immaculate, but at least Sydney Sweeney is hot, and that film was 30 minutes shorter and did the same shit. Another unnecessary, back to where it all began, prequel. Why do some people insist on doing this to horror or any good stories? Did we really, really need to see the way he was planned and conceived nearly 50 years after the original was released? There was some shocking and disturbing scenes. That hospital giving birth scene, I, I don't know how they got away with that on a theatrical release. But aside from some shock value, this is another stolen blueprint generic horror offering. Originality? None. The scares? Those could be seen coming from next week. And this shit dragged on for two hours. In two hours, I would hope to have some investment in the movie, but nope, there was nothing to latch on to or be emotionally attached to. Sure, there was a couple of very graphic scenes. Kudos to them for pulling that off, but that's not enough to praise this movie. This was literally a longer version of Immaculate. The problem with prequels is that there's nothing at stake here. Why latch on to characters when you know the ultimate outcome? What kind of reaction did they really want from me at the end? Was I supposed to go <gasps> gasp and get goosebumps and want to hoot and holler that they said the name Damien at the end and this is all for him? Give me a break. It's movies like this why I don't like prequels. And that's it for today's episode of Tar and my absolute dismay for the first omen. Check it out if you dare but you've been warned. It has been an absolute pleasure. Please like comment, share your thoughts, subscribe, follow, and tell some friends about the channel. My name is Gilbert Yabara, and thank you so much for watching The Attic Review. Smile, tiger.